हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस फोर्स ऑन अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट व्हाट वी नीड टू डू वी हैव टू परफॉर्म वन एक्टिविटी एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव हियर अ स्टैंड वन कंडक्टर ए बी अ स्मॉल कंडक्टर अबाउट लेंथ फाइव सेंटीमीटर द एंड्स ऑफ कंडक्टर आर freely suspended to the stand this rod of the stand is insulated and these ends are connected to the battery look at this end b is connected to positive end and a is connected to negative end and what you can observe here nearby this conductor one horseshoe magnet is placed means it is a vertically upward and downward direction above and below the conductor now this conductor say uh, north pole of this magnet and south pole of this magnet as we have already discussed before whenever we place magnet nearby the current carrying conductor what happen in that case that conductor exert a force on magnet that we have discussed but the french scientist andre marie ampere concluded that whenever that current carrying conductor exert force on a magnet the equal amount of force must be exerted by the magnet on the conductor now to understand this phenomena we will perform this activity we will verify that whether this magnet also exert force on a current carrying conductor or not look at here once we start this circuit here we can connect one switch once we on this switch what will happen the current will flow from positive end of the battery to the negative like this from b then to a and it will end to the negative end at the same time we will observe the deflection in the conductor the conductor will move towards right side now what we will do we will interchange the direction of current suppose instead of positive if i make positive here and negative here means in a second case i will alter the direction of current again now the current will flow from positive to negative but the direction of current now from a to b in that case we will observe deflection in the conductor but that deflection would not be towards the right side it would be towards the left side so this shows that the force exerted on the conductor first of all when current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field force is exerted on it secondly the direction of force depends on the direction of current now what we will do we will verify that whether the moment deflection depends on the direction of magnetic field or not now what would be the direction of magnetic field in this case as we know that the direction of magnetic field is always from north to south north to south which is perpendicular to the conductor now what we will do we will interchange the poles means this instead of south that would be north and if this is south we are interchanging poles then we can observe the deflection in opposite direction so we got the second result whenever we interchange the direction of magnetic field the direction of motion also interchange so what is the final conclusion of this the conclusion of this activity is the direction of motion depends on the direction of current as well as direction of magnetic field but one question remains unanswered how to determine the direction of motion in a conductor 
as we know the direction of field as well as current for that what we will do we can apply Fleming's left hand rule how now to know the direction of motion of a conductor we should remember Fleming's left hand rule this Fleming's left hand rule gives you exact direction of motion suppose your three fingers the forefinger middle finger and thumb are mutually perpendicular to each other like this forefinger middle finger and thumbs are mutually perpendicular then forefinger is in the direction of magnetic field like this middle finger is in the direction of current like this and finally thumb will show the direction of motion or force this is called Fleming's left hand rule once again I'll repeat when you place your forefinger in the direction of magnetic field your middle finger in the direction of current then your thumb would be in the direction of motion so this is called Fleming's left hand thumb rule